but he is the grandfather, that's uh, Larry and Kay Woodcock, the grandparents of J.J. Vallo, seven years old, killed, um, his body found on Chad Daybell's property. I'm taking off his jacket to uh, show the shirt that was just recently given to him. Media gathering to get uh, microphones up there so we can all hear what he has to say. There we go. Okay, this is Lori Woodcock. Get the microphone. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. For one time in my life, I'm, I'm kind of lost at words, <laughs> believe that or not. Look, first of all, I want to thank 18 jurors. I cannot thank them enough. I'm sure everybody has paid attention in court. Speak it, get her here closer. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sure everyone has paid attention in court. I want to personally thank and I want to personally hug every one of those jurors. What they went through, what they saw, is mind boggling. I hope that nobody ever has to go through this. I hope nobody ever has to see and hear the details of what happened to JJ, to Tylee, and to Tammy. Guys, we got two more trials. Two more. Three. Charles. Chad and uh, Brandon. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Well, okay. Yeah. Brandon's in Arizona. The the next the next trial is Chad. I look forward to being back in this courthouse again, if that happens. I hope everybody is here again. I hope that y'all appreciate so much the court system how meticulous how meticulous the, the prosecution was I think everybody will, will agree it was it was amazing job by all of them and I want y'all to know that even the defense I shook their hands I, I have said many times I want a fair, honest, and righteous decision. I think we had 18 jurors that all deserve our appreciation, our love, and they gave an honest, fair, and righteous verdict. I love you. <laughs> what, what else can you say? Larry, what was it like walking out seeing all the law enforcement officers in the hallway? It was a, do I? I, I? What was it like walking out seeing all of the law enforcement officers who have spent countless hours? Oh, in the hallway? I know. We and, would be and, nowhere without them. You know, now. as much as I have said up here about the, the prosecution, the defense, the jurors, Nate, you made an absolute great statement. We have to appreciate, support our law enforcement, enforcement officials. Those guys sacrificed from their families, from their homes. We will never know the countless hours, the countless hours that they have put in how much sacrifice they have gone through, and most of all, what they have seen in this case that maybe some people will never unsee. I am, I love them, I appreciate them. There's not one of these guys I wouldn't go in a dark alley with. I, I would. 
I can't not, I cannot thank them enough. I can't. Next question. Hey, well, Larry, what is your final message to Lori Vallow? My final message to Lori. Y'all ready? Turn out the lights. The party's over. They say that all good things must end. Lori, it ended. Can I have a, a you, minute? Yeah, you go. <laughs> um, we are elated with this. Uh, there was some doubt we would get all of them, all guilties, but we did it. Our, the prosecution is amazing. The law enforcement is amazing. They became our family, and we're keeping most of them for the rest of our life as family. And. Um, even you news people, we've made great friends with you guys and huh? a journalist. Oh, a journalist. <laughs> news journalist. Um, anyway, it's great. Uh, our JJ now. Maybe we can, maybe we can get him and put him to rest as well as Tylee and um, do right by them. And uh, We'll see how that works. But anyway, we're so grateful, and we thank all of y'all for your support. And we would never be here with without y'all. And so many people have reached out to us. And I mean, I have to tell y'all, there's we even got uh, a message from someone in Tasmania that is following this case. So uh, it's all over the world, and we appreciate all of you. And thank you. And God bless our, God bless America because we're grateful we live here. Thank you.